All right, so welcome class today with Mr. Evans again. Today's lesson, we're gonna be looking at arrays, okay? So what is an array? An array is a set that shows equal groups in rows and columns, okay? So with the arrays, we're gonna have some important information that we're gonna need when we get ready to build our own arrays, okay? So we're gonna to need to know that rows go side to side, all right? And the columns go up and down, okay? So these are the rows and these are the columns. So for this picture right here, we have one, two. So we have two rows and we have one, two, three columns, okay? So anytime you're looking at an array, we have rows and we have columns, okay? So we're gonna use arrays to build multiplication problems. We're gonna use arrays to build multiplication sentences, repeated addition to show multiplication. So our practice problem over here, our example, we have one, two, three, four rows. So we have four rows and we have one, two, three columns. So we're just gonna put our three right here, okay? So when we're making arrays, each row has to have an equal amount, okay? All the time, it always has to have an equal amount, okay? So if we look at our four rows, each row has three. So row number one has three, one, two, three. Row number two also has three. Row number three also has three. And then row number four has three, okay? So we would put that our example would be four times three, okay? So that's four rows with three in each row. Our first number tells us how many rows we have. Our second number tells us how many we have in each row, okay? So once we count all of these together, we're gonna get our multiplication total. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So four times three equals 12 which is what we have right here, okay? So if we want to show this same array as a repeated addition, that first number is gonna tell us how many we need to have, and the second number is gonna tell us what number we are adding, all right? So the first number is a four, and the second number is a three. So our number is going to be three plus three plus three, plus three, okay? We have four threes because our first number is a four. One, two, three, four. And our second number is what we're adding, all right? Three in each row, okay? So our picture is the same. Three in each row, one, two, three. And then we have our repeated addition now here. Three plus three plus three plus three, okay? And we already know that three plus three plus three four times equals to 12, okay? So that's our first example. We're gonna look at one more, then I'm gonna give you guys some practice. Okay, so our next one, we have a picture with some yummy tasting donuts. All right, so this one, we're gonna count our rows. We have one, two, three, four. So we have four rows, all right? Now we're gonna count our columns. We have one, two, three, four. We got four columns, okay? Now we're gonna make our multiplication sentence, okay? So each row has four donuts. So we're gonna say four times four, okay? All right, so we're using how many rows we have and how many we have in each row. So our multiplication sentence is four times four. So we're gonna count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So four times four equals sixteen. Okay. Now we're gonna make our repeated addition sentence. Okay. So we're doing the same thing. This one's a little bit easier because we have the same numbers. So this tells me how many fours I need to have. This tells me what number I'm adding. So I am adding four, four times. So one, two, three, four, okay? So each row has four, so I added four, four times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four in each one. Four, 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 four. And we already know that is 16. Okay? So we have our multiplication sentence and we have our repeated addition. So on the next one, we're going to show you guys some ones that you are going to practice on your own. Okay. So our instructions are... You're gonna complete the addition and the multiplication sentences, all right? So you're doing the same thing that we just looked at. We're counting how many groups we have, and then we are counting how many we have in each group, okay? So we've got two practice problems. You guys can definitely go ahead and practice these two, and you can try making some arrays on your own, all right? It was nice to see everybody again. I hope you liked this video. Talk to you later.